there everybody welcome to episode number 365 of it'll be fine i'm your friend and your pal kelly zemnikas and as we do each episode along with my guest we dive into a dish that neither of us has ever made before but we go forward with the confidence that it is going to be fine and on today's show we're making this grasshopper pie no grasshoppers are harmed in this episode. This is totally, there's no grasshoppers. I am so excited to make this dish. My Aunt Ruth introduced me to this when I was a kid. It was like her go-to dessert back when I was younger. I don't think I've had this oh, since like 1989. Anyhow, I am baking today alongside a guest, a very, very, very special guest today, because she is joining our Five Timers Club. Nick Lindman finally has some company. He's just been in the clubhouse by himself for like a long time. Uh, Tara Wiedner is joining us today and joining the Five Timers Club. Tara is a fantastic comedian and trivia show host and superstar and awesome mom and great friend. And I'm so glad she is here. She is joining us from her home off on the West Coast. So she is zooming in to the kitchen to help me make some grasshopper pie. Are you ready, grasshoppers? Are ya? I'm so excited. What a throwback. It's gonna be fine. I hope. We'll see. <laughs> Okay, for this recipe, you are going to need creme de main, creme de cacao. You will need milk. Uh, use whatever brand you want. You will need whipping cream or heavy cream, as it may be called near where you live. Uh, for garnish at the end, you can grate some chocolate on top, but it is not necessary. I think this is a definite, even though the recipe says it is, if you wish, um, food coloring so you can make it green like a grasshopper. <laughs> you're gonna need marshmallows for this dish and you're going to need ground up cookie wafers, chocolate wafers. Uh, if you have it, uh, just buy chocolate uh, baking crumbs. Oreo makes one uh, that you can use for your crust or you can just get out the hammer and go to town with your anger. It's really good for that. Baking is really good for that. Weird camera angle time. Okay, so if you do not have creme de menthe in your house, as I do not, you can do it on the stove top. Boom. Uh, what you need is water and granulated sugar to make a simple syrup. And to that, you're going to add a couple of drops of mint extract and one ounce of vodka. We like Tito's in our house, but use whatever brand you like. If you have a vodka that's already infused with peppermint, you're one step ahead of the game. Uh, so you can use that too. But you want an ounce of this, half an ounce of the simple syrup, a couple of drops of the mint, and you're off to the races. So here's the thing. Yeah. When I was all, yeah, let's do grasshopper pie. My brain was not like, oh yeah, grasshoppers, that chocolate mint pie, because I hate chocolate mint. So here's what I'm doing. Yes. Instead of creme de menthe, yes. we're doing maraschino cherry juice. And get this. Hang on, it gets better. It gets better. Okay. I so I found these marshmallows that are chocolate stuff. So mine's going to be a ladybug pie. I was just about to say, you have a ladybug pie and I have a grasshopper pie. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> this is amazing. Um, uh, for those who are watching, uh, which you are, otherwise. Um, what else are you doing? That's a weird thing to say. Uh, anyhow, the link for the recipe I initially sent Tara is in the show description. It's a Betty Crocker recipe. Um, but you could make a uh, ladybug pie. You could make... Um, Whatever you want, really. For bugs, we get butterfly pie. Butterfly pie. Well, okay. Oh, oh hear me out. Gross. 
So if you did like a butterfly pea flower tea, oh, turn that into a simple syrup. Use a quarter cup of. Okay, back to grasshoppers. We have a whole <laughs> insect line of pies. Uh, okay, so uh, in a medium bowl, you want to get a medium bowl. Use your discretion as to what a medium bowl size is. Uh, you are going to take your uh, your cookie bits. You're going to put it in there, um, and uh, you're going to make a little well in it. All right. Stir crust ingredients in the well. The crust ingredients are, drum roll, butter. Please, this and a quarter cup of melted butter. And the that's, butter. That's what you need. All right. Got the butter here. My butter's not melted. My, it is so warm here in Toronto. I just left mine out on the counter. That's why I've been wearing this. What? So I wore like a t-shirt because I know I'm gonna sweat because I'm in the kitchen. Yeah. It's 60 degrees here. It's mid-December. Okay. All right. So you're going to take your butter and you're going to mash this about... Um, Melt it. Pokey pokey and you turn yourself around. No, I'm kidding. Um, all right. So you're going to mash this together. And then what we're going to do with that, once it is all mixed, is we are going to press it. If you have a pie plate like this, amazing. If you have a you know, metallic when you bought off the store shelves that you can just gift to someone else to use that too. But it is basically going to go in there. We're going to push it into the bottom. Got this here. I'm going to push this out. I'm doing it just on the bottom in Rebellion. I'm I'm going to do a little bit around the edge. Um, this is fun. It feels like you're playing in dirt. Mm-hmm. That's I almost feel like I didn't use enough butter. Like maybe I got a little bit too crazy with shaving the Oreos this morning. I am with you different. and I, I'm with you and I measured my butter out, but this does not feel like enough butter. Mm -mm. It feels too crumbly. Yes. Hmm. Well, hopefully baking will solve this or the cream might soak in and kind of give it like a gelatinous. I think so. I don't think I'm tempted to like figure out how to add more butter to this. I'm just going to leave this as is there's mine you got yeah we're gonna let science do its thing <laughs> exactly <laughs> we're so, going to use chemistry my yeah this just see i don't know i'm gonna trust the process i'm trying to trust um all right so i'm like an asphalt layer over here i'm trying to get it like perfectly smooth like cars are going <laughs> to be. no potholes <laughs> <laughs> all right okay so now we are baking Baking, uh, so we're gonna put this in the oven uh, for 10 minutes at 350. You are then going to let it cool for approximately 15 minutes. <laughs> All right, so. I just had a okay. thought. Yes. I know, scary. So these are filled with chocolate. It's gonna melt, it's gonna turn brown. Mm -hmm. Brown mixed with red is just gonna be more brown. Mm -hmm. I'm making a mud pie. Okay. It's a ladybug mud pie. Ladybug mud pie. Ladybug mud. <laughs> there we go. So milk is going in. And then we are adding marshmallows. And again, low heat. You don't need to crank this up. How are your marshmallows looking? They're they're fluffing, they're wet, and they're melting. Sounds yeah. like a good time. <laughs> Now oh. it looks like it's on my stove. <laughs> Here, mine's pretty much melty. Um, just a hot second more here. Um, and friends, you want to be stirring this constantly while it melts because otherwise this will stick to this pan. <laughs> so, yeah. Stir. Okay, so arm day. This is arm day. Yeah, exactly. All right. Let me get, whoa, 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 whoa. All right. Uh, we got a bowl. Whoops. Okay. I I'm gonna put this into another bowl to go in the fridge because I don't. I mean, Betty Crocker knows more than I do for sure, but I don't. I don't. Know, I don't agree with putting my saucepan in the fridge. Yeah, I think 
She's trying to steer us weird in this way. Yeah. All right. So again, this was just milk and marshmallow, uh, which I think if we had a rap group, that would be a good name. We've had a what? Milk and marshmallow as our rap duo. I like it. I, I, I think it's nice. I think it's nice. All right. There we go. Ta -da. All right. All right. Here we go. Uh, it's going to go in the fridge. For about 20 minutes. Uh, let's start whipping the cream. Why not? Because that takes a moment or two. Um, <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm just scrolling down below on the recipe uh, for those playing the home game. Uh, you don't have to make a pie. You can make this into like uh, bars um little squares you don't you don't have to make a, a whole pie but why not really um little debbie it why not okay so for uh the whipping cream we need one and a half cups of whipping cream you may call it heavy cream uh in my grocery store they are now starting to call it uh cooking cream um but basically a thicker not buttercream but like a thicker uh, They're cream. calling it cooking cream because they don't want people drinking it like they do here in America. <laughs> Canada got smart. <laughs> These work for chilling the bowl, by the way. Okay. All right. We're going to. Oh, yeah. This is good. This bowl is nice and chilled. Um, it says the green food coloring, if desired. I think if you're gonna make a grasshopper pie, I mean, go go the whole nine yards and add the food coloring. Out loud. Um, Based on color different. theory, I don't think I should add green to red and brown. No, <laughs> no, we're gonna avoid that. All right, so we've got our cream. We're gonna add this in. You only have to put a few drops of food coloring. Um, certainly not. A lot need to be used. It does look like a shamrock stick. Um, Mine's just white. Do you like shamrock shakes? No. I hate them. They're disgusting. I actually, I don't think I've ever had a shamrock cake because I'm not big on things that are mint flavored unless it's gum or an actual mint. There we go. Yeah, I I like, oh, I, I will try almost anything, but the shamrock shake and the pumpkin spice latte are two things that come back every year that I I tried two years in a row and I was like, it's not for me. Either of those things are for me. <laughs> so I am not a fan of the pumpkin spice latte. Yeah. But this year they introduced the pumpkin cream cold brew. I am so down with it. It's and so that good. I can get behind. Part. Yeah, I love that thing. It's not sweet. It's the no. pumpkin. The pumpkin spice latte is just like it's sugar. The yeah, root. and it's got a weird aftertaste to me because there's no pumpkin in it. Exactly. It's just gross. What it is. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm. I, it's a loss on this, but I'm going to make the best of it because I've got the marshmallow stuff. So mine did not form stiff peaks at all. Uh, mine's just mild. Um, mine mildly peaked, which sounds like an 80s band. Mine likely got too firm. So <laughs> we'll move in the middle. <laughs> oh, we're putting it in the marshmallow? Yeah. It goes oh. in this. Gradually stir in the creme de main and the creme de cacao. So, um, is part of step two? It is? It is. It's the very last step. Oh, gradually. Step two. Okay, now I see yeah. it. So now we put this in before we put it into the... That's my... That creme part. Creme de cuckoo. Okay, this is pretty good. It's nice and fluffy and, you know, whatnot. Got a little green to it. Okay. This is looking That's good. Cute. All right. Dolly Parton's new album. <laughs> yeah, Dolly Parton can't have this. My dog. Uh, Dolly Parton, the singer, can. But Pour this into the crust, everybody. Oh, this looks... This is childhood for me. 100%. Thanks. 
It is going to be a thing. It's this is mine. Can you see that there? Look at that. Cool. Okay, I need something to put on top of this. Hang um. On. So it said, oh yeah. Uh, when you put this in the fridge, friends, I uh, don't cover it or no store it covered. Wait, what? There goes the camera now. All right, we'll do that again. All right. <laughs> All right. So we're we've spread the filling in the cold crust. We've covered the stuff with what we want. Uh, refrigerate for about four hours or until it sets. And then when you and then it says store covered in refrigerator. So do I cover it now or once it's set? It says refrigerate about four hours or until set, store covered in refrigerator. What? Uh, what does that mean? Instructions unclear. Um I'm not gonna I'm not gonna cover it. I genuinely don't know what that means. <laughs> Silver sprinkle dust. Oh, okay. Good. good call. I don't have any sprinkles. Um, I have coconut. Oh, this was, uh, oh, mistakes were made. <laughs> oh, no. What happened? <laughs> um. <laughs> I didn't do it downwind. Uh, hang on, I'm fixing it. This is awful. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, so it looks like the Tin Man sneezed on my pot. <laughs> it's like it's an off. I love it. This is fighting. <laughs> Into the fridge. All right. All right, so it's uh, the next day. Uh, I got home so late last night. I did not have time to do the taste test with Tara, so we're going to go to her in a second for her opinions on how her ladybug mud pie turned out. Um, but friends, this is mine. It stopped jiggling, so that's good. It's like 10 a.m. right now, so this is breakfast pie. Um, that's a thing, right? Okay, let's let's see. So I, I did a little cut before I started filming. I'm going to see if this comes out. Okay. Okay, the slice is holding together. That's not so bad. I could have done better on the crust. I definitely did not do a solid crust base, but I'm just really impressed that uh, this thing just held together. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. All right. I'm going to do my taste. I've got my coffee with me. So there we go. All right. Let's, let's see. Bon appetit, Tara. That's really good. It's not as minty as I remember my Aunt Ruth making as a kid, but this is pretty damn close. Um, it's so light. I love the chocolate base for a little difference in texture. It's sweet, but it's not crazy. It's just awesome. This is just pure awesome and getting me back to childhood like just enough that I feel pretty happy inside. <laughs> All right, Tara, I'm so curious as to how your pie turned out. So take it away. <laughs> the day after okay. doing the taste, uh, it, it's my third taste. This is my, my third slice since last night. And I can say it's better the next day because yesterday I was like nah, it's kind of too marshmallowy the texture's kind of messing with me today it's like it's creamier and it's kind of moussier 
and the crest is holding together very well. So. The cherry is so good. Um, if I had to describe the taste, I would say a very creamy cherry cordial. <clears throat> Today it has almost a mousse consistency. Yesterday it was very gelatiny, gelatiny, jiggly, I guess I could say. Heavy on the marshmallow. Today, less marshmallow. The sweetness is kind of muted, but you can definitely still taste the cherry and the chocolate of the crust, and it's like so freaking good. I'm glad I didn't do mint because I'm not a huge fan of mint. This with the cherry, ladybug mud pie, definitely recommend. It may also be worth mentioning the things that I did to substitute in this recipe that made it a ladybug mud pie instead of the grasshopper pie. Instead of the creme de menthe, I used maraschino cherry juice. Quarter cup to a quarter cup. I just did the same measurement. The um, creme de white cacao, I used three tablespoons of Ghirardelli white chocolate powder. Same measurement straight across. Uh, for the marshmallows, I did use one eight and a half ounce bag of... I think they're called stuffed. They're chocolate stuffed marshmallows. Uh, there were 12 of those in that bag. And then I used the remaining, I believe, 20 of just regular jumbo marshmallows. Everything else, I went straight with the recipe. And this is our finished product. So, there we go. It looks good. It tastes good. And I even put a little cherry on top to make it pretty today. Mm, so cute. All right, that's it. Thank you again, Kelly, for having me on Five Timers Club. What's up? Mm -hmm.